Hello everyone, David from goldstartool.com and um, we got many cards. We did four videos so far on the uh, watching food machine to a limit. We did Juki, we did a console, we did another one. We did another one. The new tech. Uh, we did, have not done the new tech. This is the new tech. We did 1541, right? And then we did that. We did the Juki 15. Oh, the Juki 1181. Juki 1181. And then 15 Juki 1541. We did 206RB 5. <laughs> so we got a lot of calls for, from people that wanted to know what would uh, new tech GC 0303 D4 uh, would um, work. Now, there's two, two major uh, differences between these two machines. This is the direct drive. You have the motor here. Usually the external motor with driving belt is supposed to be stronger, um, but it is not really. Uh, this is a very strong machine, direct drive meaning the machine, the motor is right here. And beside that is auto thread cut, auto thread lift, everything, everything, everything. So, um, and it's not triple feed, meaning only regular walking foot, like the 1181 is 0303. The bottom feet dog is not moving. The needle is not moving, right? But uh, we're gonna take it, we're gonna take it to the, uh, take it, uh, we're gonna take a test. Oi! Did I do that? Almost, almost, okay. So, I did this already today with this machine. I tried it out to make sure it would work out. But uh, I just wanted to show you. So we'll start with back tacking and that's how it's gonna be. You see, I made it slow because, right? There's a the thread there or no? Again, one of those days that. So this machine, will also come with a auto threader, right? Um, not auto threader, the, the, um, with the auto bobbin winder. Help me out here. Sorry. Help me out. Okay, so, I'm gonna go. Here you go, I'm sewing. And I did these two layers too, but I do it again. I'm gonna do it in the corner so you know what I'm talking about. Okay. No problem, it's auto cutting, auto cut. Okay, on the top you have the, um, you have the um, B69 nylon bonded. On the bottom you have T105 thread. Here we go. So. I'm gonna try a three layer. See, it really goes down there, goes down, cut the thread. We have cut the thread. Again, it, that the thread is happened to be the major, major problem when it comes to this stuff. If it's not strong enough, it's not gonna, it seems like the machine will work. And, um, but the, uh, the thread will be cut. Now, maybe this is also too strong, too too tight. Um, just, I'm gonna throw it out there for you guys at home. Or, um, tension, adjusting the tension, it's very, very, very important. The way you put the needle inside is very important. You gotta make sure when you take the, before you take the thread out, make sure um, it's going in right, right? You know what I'm talking about, Jasmine? Yes. I had a customer that was complaining that her sewing machine is not working. And she called in, she had totally a wrong uh, needle inside. A, very wrong needle inside. So, um, all right, let's do this one more time. Let's see if we could get away with this or we have to change. Um, uh, 
if people will love that for this. Let me cut this when the needle is down, right? A lot of people like the idea of the needle position. That's the whole idea. The needle stays down and you just start doing right. And I'm being doing it very slow right now. I could do it faster, I'm not doing it. I just want you guys to see. And then if I want the needle to come up, I just done. Right, and it cuts. And this is the back. So we did three, three layer, no problem. This is the extra thread from the start, right? I'm gonna cut a fourth layer. So far, so good. These are really heavy webbing. Very, very sturdy. Sturdy, strong, no? Okay. It's hard. So we're gonna see if the four is gonna go. So if you remember, 1181 had problem with mm -hmm. four going in there. So did the 206 RB. Like they, they got in there, let's see. Right? So it's gonna be the limit, four, right? Let's see what we're gonna do here. Four layers are very, very, very strong webbing, right? Voila. I'm gonna get this. These are extra. These are nothing that should worry you guys. These are extra thread from when I pull the thread up. Right, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna go to the side. And up. Now, it is the... The thread in the back didn't come out good. And it, the reason is because I loosened up too much of this. All right, so I'm gonna do one more just to show you guys that it's gonna work. One, two, three, we are at four, right? Yes. Four brand new layers. You know what you're gonna have to do with this, right? Hmm. Uh, you're gonna like take the thread out so we could use them next, on the next video. Here you go, I'll try that this. Whenever you feel that your thread in the back, this is, I loosened up the thread. See what happened? Right here, that's the tension. People calling like my machine is not working. I wanna send the whole thing back. Like it needs, these are not home train machine. You gotta be able to adjust the thread. So when I felt that this is too wide, I adjusted the tension, obviously it didn't work. You see all this extra bird nest mm -hmm. side? Two turns, two turns and this is my back. I still don't like it that much, but it's much better. So I'm gonna do again. And obviously this time the thread came out because, um, the thread came out because, uh, um, again, it is very heavy stuff. But I'm not using a T105 thread on the top, so that's normal. But these are heavy, very, very heavy stuff showing, right? With this one, you really don't have to take the thread out, but I take it out, this automatic feed, meaning that it should come out by itself. But um, I'm just doing it because I wanna be. So since I did, this is the front, and that was the back. So I'm gonna make this front and that the back for people to see. Right? Let's go. 
I tighten it more, right? You could adjust the stick from here if you need to. Hold, turn. People call me, tell me it's very tight. It is tight. Push, turn. I'm at eight millimeter. And I'm gonna go over the, the ear cup. This is the back. Beautiful stitching. This is when I made it to eight millimeter. This is when it was normal. This is the back again, front. Four, you can do five, honestly. Oh, let's see if you could do five. Five and in there, dude, that mean? Let's see, holy God. Look at that. Wow. Hello, look. Beautiful. Four layers. I mean five. five. Whoa. With it, you gotta be more careful than me. I usually leave so much thread out because I like to pull the thread out. But um, it's doing it. Great job. Uh, automatic bobbin winder. I'm so proud of uh, our homemade brand, New Tech. Uh, please, yeah, zoom in. Zoom in. And uh, thank you for watching. I'm gonna be have also, we got in stock now a new tech 1541 and new tech 1508 and i promise you as soon as they get assembled uh, we'll go ahead and make a video